Hey, Clock First, it's Clockwinder on Clockwork Jalopy. Uh, just putting down a quick vlog. Um, I just can't help but think, a lot of people think being a Clockwinder is a bunch of greased gears and slicing through the ether to Mars like there's no care in the world. I just wanted to get across what it means to be me. Um, and today has really started to hammer that in. So I just wanted to share a little bit about what it's like. Um, imagine you're going down a road. This road you can see 42 miles that way, 42 miles that way. Up ahead's a one-lane bridge. Okay. You see one car heading towards you. There is nothing in the world that you can do to prevent that car from reaching the bridge at the exact same time as you. You slow down, it slows down. You speed up, you, it speeds up. No matter what you do, that car is going to reach that one lane bridge at the exact moment you are. And the guy driving that car has made it evident that he is not going to slow in any way. All right. It's just one example. Another example. You're buying clockwork supplies. You're in the uh, Chandler's slash grocery store, picking up some stuff. You purchase it. You're heading out the door. Whoa, you're the clock winder. Can't be that easy, can it? No, it can't. Ahead of you is a woman pushing a cart. Ah, but the accessories. The accessories to that cart are about eight screaming kids. Okay. You know what? The screaming kids aren't the problem. Woman gets cart into the middle of the exit door and decides that is where she's going to check a receipt. Right there. Right there. She just stops and starts checking her receipt. Meanwhile, the tribe around her is going absolutely crazy. You know, you know I think they even had somebody tied to a stake at one point. And I'm just standing there. Excuse me. Excuse me. And of course, you get the look like you're an unfeeling bastard. Might be true. And a final example from today alone. Um, you're driving home. You turn your velocipede into your neighborhood. You're waving at the neighbors. Everything's fine. Guy's in front of you. He's driving all right. Guy stops. Okay. He doesn't stop on the side of the road. He doesn't pull into a driveway. He doesn't, you know, his tire in no way even touches the gutter. He just stops in the middle of the road. Doesn't turn on his hazards. Just comes to a stop. You're wondering, hey, WTF, and guy gets out of car and just starts walking around, car in the middle of the road, no hazards, and when you dare to go around, oh no, you get the glare. That's what it means to be a clock winder. From hell's heart, I stab at thee. This is a clock winder. Have a great day. Hey, just thought I'd add this in. What you hear playing behind me is J.D. McPherson's North Side Gal from his uh, debut album, Signs and Signifiers. Really love the album. Uh, available on iTunes. Uh, really love uh, the sound. Apparently, he was a punk rocker at one point. Decided just to, to go back to some rock and roll some roots. Really a great sound. Just give a listen. Anyway, J.D. McPherson's Signs and Signifiers.